Hello everybody, welcome to Ziggy Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Um, we're having some hard times getting the rush rush runs down. Rush? Hush runs down. There we go. Life's a bit hard. But let's play as Kane. I don't think I've played as Kane on a regular run super recently. Um, I like Kane a lot. I think he's a fun character. I think he's an interesting character. I like the fact that we got Evil Eye for him, like our first item. It's pretty sweet. Um, I know that the effect that it has is fairly rare. So every once in a while we shoot out an eyeball that then fires like a turret. Well, I think, essentially, I think it has the same stats as us. So, you know, the stronger we get, the stronger Evil Eye becomes, and it's bonus DPS nonetheless. Also, if we could get a bomb, you know, free Smart Fly is nothing to sneeze at. Smart Fly is up there with some of the best items that are activated upon hit. Um, there aren't a ton of items that are along those same lines, but, you know... Smart Fly is one of them. It has some of the best AI, to some of the best damage per second, all that good stuff. So we'll see if we can't swing a bomb. I would like to. Also, let's check the seed. The seed is W R H R W B T one. Uh, for those of you who played that last, I guess the last regular run that I did, the one that will have gone up yesterday. I don't know exactly what day during the week this will be, but uh, the run that came up yesterday. I want to hear if you guys like, if you guys did it at all. But if you guys were able to make the hush fight, because I was like, you should be able to. As long as you didn't play as poorly as I was, you should have been able to do it fine. It wasn't that bad. Um, I just feel very silly. And how the run went, went if you made it to the cathedral. Or not the cathedral, but the, 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 what's it called? The chest. I know that's a bit of a spoiler for yesterday's run, but I figure if you're watching today's, you're not going to go back and watch yesterday's. So... Sorry if that is not correct, and you would, but, um, that's where my thought process is on that, so. Anyway, so what do we got? We've got Evil Eye, which is awesome. I like it a lot. It's a pretty sweet first item. It's gonna do a lot of extra damage when we do fire it. Um, what else do we have? Well, we have, it feels like Evil Eye might have, like, a better rate of fire than we do. Which is crazy. We have the, a potential... Uh, smart fly on this floor, which is great, and we'll have a cube of meat. So all really good upgrades, um, mostly damage related. But as when I'm playing as a uh, as Kane, it's kind of what I want. Oh, a bomb. Okay, so that doesn't mean we can get smart fly, which is what we're gonna use this bomb on. So, bam, smart fly is ours. He hangs out around us like an orbital too, which is really nice. So we have you know double orbitals, pretty solid. Um, if I can get another bomb on this floor, I'd love to. There's a lot of really good things on this floor that could happen that might not necessarily happen. But if we can get another bomb, ooh, luck toe. It's good, but we already have luck foot, and I think paperclip is better. Especially if we run into, like, a guppy's tail or something. Guppy's tail, paperclip is super strong, and we, you know, we could be set for consumables for the rest of the run if we could run into something like that, so. Fingers crossed. Uh, doesn't look like we're going to swing another bomb on this floor. That's okay. We did our best. We blew up all the poop, tried to get all the consumables we could. Three minutes out of the first floor is not great, but we also had to go back and get some few things. So, you know, not terrible, not fantastic. Alright. So we're running a little bit behind schedule if we want to make hush. But again, it's one of those things where it's, it's a long, long form speed you know we we're, we're more worried about where we end up in the long run than in the immediate future i'm upset that we took red heart damage it means we're not going to get our deal with the devil but we're also doing okay already as is and so you know i'm not super worried we just have to hope that we get some good stuff on this floor regardless of the fact that we probably will not get a deal with the devil Deal with the devil chance after taking red heart damage is like 36%, so like, that's not fantastic. It's not terrible, but it's not great. One in three. Um, we have a free use of a bomb wherever we would like to. Um, I'm gonna use it here for now, because it charges so fast, you might as well be using it when you can. Then we have a better idea of where we should be using it. We're definitely gonna be using it on that tinted rock so we can prevent red heart damage on the boss and further, you know, making sure that we don't get a deal with the devil, but 
you know, that 33% chance is not terrible if we do not take damage on that, that boss fight. So, red heart damage, I should say. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Remember, we have orbitals. We can use them to our advantage. There's another one. Huh. So we're going to go for this one first because it's more... Oh, okay. We'll use it here. Golden chest isn't bad. Kane's eye is pretty bad. This is not a very good uh, payout from a tinted rock, unfortunately. Especially when we're looking for spirit hearts. Could be worse. Does that tier have infinite range? I wonder if it does. I bet it does. Um, okay, we're gonna go check out the other tinted rock that we had going on over here. Don't want Kane's eye. Would love paperclip. I kind of enjoy runs like this too, where, you know, you have a not so great spacebar item, but it's still okay and can be used in a way that maybe isn't clever, but it helps you run nonetheless. Ah, immunity to blast damage isn't bad. Another tinted rock. So, getting those spirit hearts. Claiming the spirit hearts, if you will. Ooh. Okay, I don't know if there's anything we can do about this. <laughs> I may have, uh, blown my proverbial load a little too soon with the, uh, the bombs there, but... I'm not too disappointed in the fact that I did. Just a little disappointed. Alright, what are we getting for our item? Void Rage. So that's the second floor. I don't think we can swing a bomb. No, I don't think we can either. Alright. Well, let's just keep going. We won't dwell too much on the past. You know, hindsight is twenty twenty. All that stuff. So, two spirit hearts, two red hearts. I think we're pretty set for a deal with the devil on this floor. Which is not a bad thing. Although, it does kind of ruin... Not ruin, but like off-place our... Uh, our deal with the devil placement because if we get one on this floor it means we can't really get one on caves too right that makes sense if we get one on caves or if we get one on the depths then we can't really get one on depths too then we can get one on the first floor of the womb but on the second if we did get it for the first one we wouldn't get one on this floor so one two maybe it is even I don't know it feels like it's not but <coughs> perhaps now that they've added the one to the end of the mom's heart fight it is about the same. Okay, world card. Everything's ready. Again, we might as well... Okay, that is not the secret room, so... Do not check those. No point in checking those. Red chests, regular chests. Alright. Yay, we'll get to see what's in our item room right away. It's pretty sweet. How do I feel about host hat? Host hat's pretty good. Prevents us from taking blast damage, which means we can, like, up close and personally use our, uh... Bob's Rotten Head if we wanted to, you know, distribute some justice, up close and personal, watch as the head collides, or, you know, from a far away, but it's basically to prevents us from hurting ourselves too much with that. Um, you know, we might end up taking this, so I'm actually, I'm curious. We have to be going fast, though, so, but it could make a huge difference. Um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and try to get a uh, blank card. So if we can get another bomb. Because blank card, world card is going to make it so even if we use... Oh, we can't get it. If we if we get it, we can't use a... Forget me now. But if we're trying to make the hush, we might not want to use a forget me now. So this is an interesting predicament that we're in. Huh. So it's really going to depend on what we get from our deal with the devil. If our deal with the devil is so good that I think we can go through this floor a second time without wasting too much time, then we will. If not, we might just take uh, the card, the world card, and blank card so that we can have mapping on each floor. And I know it's a little bit weird. It's an interesting, not really orthodox way to do it. But I think that's kind of where we're standing right now. In terms of our position and our decisions that we can make on this floor. There's a couple different ways that this run can be done, so if you go ahead and do a different one, let me know. The seams can be pulled in numerous ways here. Ooh, okay. That was... Thank you, Orbitals. Ugh, the true lifesaver.
Okay, we're gonna use this on the stain just for the extra damage. I hate the stain. And the stain fight early on is uh, kind of pain in the butt. Especially if he does his uh, that attack. That attack sucks. Okay, and then we get the fast version of it. God damn it. Good job, smart fly. Take care of him. Oh, jeez. Rather not take any more damage. He's dead. Okay, magic scab, HP and luck. Hmm, HP regen. It's a good question. It's a good question. Hmm. It's a better spacebar item than what we have. Hold up, I gotta pause it real quick. Better spacebar item than what we have. Do we take it? Take blank card. World card. Um. Cost of two hearts. Okay, we're gonna take it. We'll take Satanic Bible. We're not gonna go use Forget Me Now. We're gonna continue on. The HP regen is gonna be good. It'll be helpful against the Hush to have some kind of backup health. Um. We have the world card in case we get into a bind and really need to quickly go through a floor, which is not totally unlikely. I think it's a very valid thing. It's a thing that I've been running into a lot. I've also been running into a lot of the Curse of the Lost, so if we can pick up a black candle on the shop, I might I might just do that, because it's a really, it's it's very anxiety-inducing when you're like, oh, I only have one, like, two more floors to go, and I have to do it in a certain amount of time, and then you're, you know, you go the wrong direction on the Curse of the Lost, and you're like, well, fuck. It's over. Um, that happened on the last run, and I was like, man, if only I had been, like, 20 seconds faster, we could have made the hush fight. Not saying we would have won the hush fight, but there's always the chance, because, you know, you have those item rooms and stuff, so. I don't know. Interesting predicaments that we run ourselves into. I also need to make sure that I'm checking out golden chests. I don't know if I have been, but with paperclip, there's no reason not to. Oh my god. I'm trying that whole time not to do that. There it goes. Yera. Okay. Well, we see anything. We'll take the Yera to the shop. But we desperately, desperately need to, like, keep up our pace here. It's not about not slowing down. I also don't know how the host hat works in terms of when it fires. Because sometimes it does fire a triple shot. I just don't understand exactly when or how. Can you please die? Jesus. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you, Orbitals, for saving my life once again. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well. Let's try not to take any more damage. Be very important for us. Uh, too many of these are like some of my least favorite rooms especially when we don't have very much health these character these enemies are fairly tanky <sighs> we died this is a super short episode I would hate to end it there so we're gonna go ahead and do one more <laughs> god damn it all right our seed is tag 9 hetg there's a lot of things that could have gone differently on that last run um, I think a lot of that was me just playing poorly, but also I think I made some of the wrong decisions. Um, and I don't think that I was necessarily, should have known the right decisions just because they were just so variable. Um, like so many things that could have been like, well, we could have, instead of taking, you know, Satanic Bible and losing two hearts and hoping that the regeneration would be enough to pull us through, we could have gone with the forget me now, restarted the floor and hopefully gotten something better or turned down that deal with the devil and perhaps gotten a deal with the angel instead. Small Rock's a great start, and I'm happy with it. Uh, Ten Bombs is also a great start. And I will take it. Normally I wouldn't. Normally I'd be like, oh, we're gonna go for something a little bit stronger, but I think Ten Bombs, just because we can do things like this, like in case we'd need to run into a Haglaz rune, alright. Um, it can be good. I think Ten Bombs is good. We're running into so many Curses of the Lost, it's kind of throwing me uh, through a loop here. I forget what it's like to have my map. 
What's it like to have a map? I have no idea. Um, yeah, but no, Small Rock is great. We didn't have any damage upgrades really last time. We had Evil Eye, which is really cool, and I would love to get it again, but um, we had Evil Eye. But it was very rare that it happened, and oh, overall, I don't think up our, upped our damage a huge amount, or at least not on a per room basis. So all these tinted rocks, all these small rocks now ac accessible because of our choice to take 10 bombs, so all that good stuff. Um, instead of re-rolling it, which we could have, either with money or with bombs, but I was pretty okay with with 10 bombs. Okay, there's our boss fight. 10 bombs, first floor, golden key. So we should probably go check out our item room, just because we do have the money to blow up our, uh... Ooh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna haggalaz these guys if I can. When they're near these bomb blocks, maybe we'll haggle as uh, the haunt himself. Yeah, why not? A little extra damage. Haggle as doesn't do a whole lot for me all the time, but it's nice that I was able to time the uh, the haggle as rune to do some extra damage to the lost. Nice little improvement. Pentagram is awesome too. So we're, we're really good on the damage right now. Our first floor is super solid. Do we want to go back to the shop? I don't really think so. We could, but I don't want to hit or spend time wasting bombs getting, like, maybe one good item from our from our shop. You can tell me if that went well for you. It's quite possible that it did. Who knows? All right, in here, we get the scissors. Ugh. The scissors are pretty terrible. They're not awful, but they're pretty terrible. Um... Got like a six room charge too. Maybe I'm wrong. I just have not used them a whole lot, and you know, being basically the reverse of the pinking shears, where your head comes off and it is an immobile turret, um, while your body still runs around firing shots. So that's you know, to be fair, it's still pretty nice, but because um, it's gonna give you ambient damage anyway. But I still don't think it's gonna be worth enough for us to keep. Might prove me wrong. Who knows? It's a lot of poop to break. We're at least gonna get to that uh, battery charge just in case we do end up wanting it. Okay, cool. I highly doubt we are gonna want it in case, unless we, you know, we might run into something great, but I wouldn't be too optimistic about it. Um. Possible secret rooms, I can only see one right now. We might go back and check for it. Because I didn't really pay a whole lot of attention. So it might be back here. Yeah, there's a chance. Might as well check it. Check it, check it. Extra bomb. I don't think I can blow that man up with this TNT, but I might be able to. Nope. In here, the hourglass, three cent key, piggy bank. Piggy bank overall is, I think, going to give us more money than it's going to cost us. Didn't mean to do that. 16 cents. 11. 13. Okay, one more should do it. Cool. Let's get the piggy bank. We get some money back, and every time we take damage, we're going to get money. So this makes future shops more viable for us. Um... Especially if we start taking damage, or we find a blood bank, so... You know, and that's not entirely unlikely. We did have to use a lot of bombs to do it, but I think it could pay out in dividends if we do end up making the money back. We're not gonna get a blood bank on the next floor just because this is the second floor, but it is what it is. Also, the, uh, the pentagram makes it so we're less uh, reliant on not taking damage on a room in order to get a deal with the devil, so... All good stuff. So paperclip's gonna be huge here for us. Awesome. You know, Kane starting with paperclip is really good. <laughs> uh, I don't think that can be stated enough. Well, there's another curse of the. Uh, thank you, Amnesia, for giving us the the curse that we also needed. Um, almost up to 15 cents, which is sweet. Five minutes, 42 seconds. Almost done with the second floor. Three minutes of floor is not terrible. It's not great either. 
So we have to hope that we speed up our time a little bit. But also I'm spending a lot of time blowing up rocks and stuff like that, so... You know, in the early game, trying to make sure that you can get some benefits, I think, will be... Or, you know, it's, it's important. Oh, it doesn't scale with your damage either, so... Um, scissors seem, like, pretty terrible. Alright. I could be wrong, but scissors seem, like, pretty awful. Okay, we get speed upgrade, which is not bad. Oh, sweet. Awesome. So how this is gonna work... So we'll take Demon Baby. We'll take Abaddon. And we'll look badass as hell. We'll get a dime, apparently, from a random fire drop. And we'll head on down to the next floor. So this, this run itself is seeming like it's going a lot better. Which is great. Got a lot of spirit hearts. Got some sweet deal with the devil items. Ow. Taking, like, an entire heart damage from really dumb sources is probably not the best way to go. But the fact that we're, we have such good damage, we have a couple of really good benefits going for us. What do we want? We want, like, a good spacebar item. What kind of spacebar item? Well, a regenerating health spacebar item would be cool. It's one of the few times where I'd ask for, like, the nail or something. Nail would be cool because it's a damage upgrade as well. Though... You know, not necessarily. Not super necessary. Also, I haven't seen the nail in like 100, 200 years or something like that. So, just out of like, I miss it at this point. Uh, I don't like this room with the double champion maggot heads, but we're fine. Okay. Okay, so we can't do anything about this blood bank because uh, it's just going to take away our spirit hearts. Oh, well, there's a boss. Might as well go fight him. Not too scared about what we have going on in here. Stain kind of sucks. Bring it on, bud. But we have a good amount of damage, so that's good at least. Can you please pop up? Thank you. I had him feared, and I was like, what's going on? It's not showing up. Oh. Of course, my head's actually still there, I just can't see it. Squeezy is pretty good. Gives us two spirit hearts back. Neither of those are very good, though, so we're going to skip out on that. Might give us a deal with the angel chance, which would not be awful. And uh, we'll go check for our item room and shop, because we have the money for the shop, we have the, you know, the keys for the item room, all that good stuff. And the more things we can have going for us by the time that we get to... Where it is we need to get to. Uh, the blue womb. Better. At this point, we do really need HP regen, though. Either in the form of, you know, uh, a book of some form. Whether that be the Satanic Bible or the Book of Revelations. Or, if it's in the form of, like, a Dark Bum or something passive like that. That would be great. But right now, we're kind of lacking in that. Running all spirit hearts. It's not an awful place to be, but it's also not a great place to be either. Oh my god, and taking such terrible damage is not a good place to be at all, ever, I think. <laughs> uh, main rule is you kind of, rule of thumb is you kind of want to take the least amount of damage you possibly can doing, you know, rooms like this. In general, just as much as you can. Okay, no magic mushroom. That's alright. Can't expect magic mushroom, you just gotta be happy when it shows up. It's like a really lazy bassist or something. Um, whoa. Hang out. Okay, we're good. You know what? I'm totally down for rubber cement. And we're gonna check out our shop, hopefully, which is in here. Yeah. Cool. Rubber cement's gonna effectively make our damage better. Especially on smaller rooms. Where our tears are gonna bounce off, like more difficult enemies. Or more of the enemies, I guess. Not more difficult enemies. Alright, cool. Bad trip sucks. In here we find a spirit heart for three cents, which we will take. It's about the only thing I will take here. So. Now we go. Um, this looks like it could be the secret room, so we'll check it out. It wasn't. Okay, if that wasn't the secret room, secret room could in turn be here. Cool, it totally was. 
nothing in here that we want, so out we go. Um, ten minutes in Catacombs 1 is okay. It's essentially we have to be halfway there. And, or not halfway there, actually. We have to be halfway there by, uh, 15 minutes, and halfway there would be, um, would be this floor. So, we're doing okay. But we, we still need to keep our momentum. We need to not slow down as we continue going through floors. Kind of need to focus on prioritizing Iron Room Shop and just kind of exiting. Leaving it behind. Mm, what do we get? Pills. Pills are full health, doesn't do jack shit. What makes you smaller is pretty good. Makes our hitbox tinier. That's never a bad thing. I probably won't be using the scissors anymore because it's GD terrible. But, um, you know. That's my own. My own bias, I guess. Also, stain on, like, the third floor is fucking really hard. I didn't realize, like, how difficult that is for a boss for a third floor. Um, Gertie. How's it going, Gertie? I would, I would equivocate, equivocate, there we go, equivocate, 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 uh, stain right now to, like, haunt when I first started playing. Not when I first started playing, but after a little bit of time in, in Rebirth. Like, Stain is a very difficult boss, and I think until you get the patterns all down and stuff, it's going to be kind of difficult for a lot of people. So this is a no-brainer. Ceremonial robes will just give us back those hearts. And then Contract from Below, I think, is good. So we're going to take it as well. It puts us pretty low on health, and I know that this has been a, a reason I've been... Oh, I took the bad trip pill. I'm an idiot. What makes you larger? What makes you smaller? All right. So two black hearts is not great, but it's also, you know... We've been in worse positions, we've been fine, so... Let's try not to freak out about it. Should be okay. And stuff like this is why we took it. You know, that's a lot of money. It's <laughs> a lot of bombs. I know we could've just taken ceremonial robes and been fine with what we had, but... That's not how I'm rolling right now. Okay. Kinda need to be done with this floor by 15 minutes, so let's... Let's hurry it up. We already go to our item room. We have not. So in our shop. Cool. We will take a starter deck because I think it's better. Two clubs. Sure. And uh, we'll keep going. Let's see if we can make it to our item room in time. Might do our boss trap room though. I would need... No. Not doing it. I would need something to sell it to me basically. Right, none of those things we're going to do it. Double key room. Might as well check it out. It's a lot of charges. Could be great if we find something like uh, Book of Revelations in our item room. But until that moment comes, I'm not going to get too excited about that double key room. We don't even know if we'll get like a half decent spacebar item this whole run. Never, like regardless, even if we get it, on, like don't get something on this floor. So, yeah, got to work with what we have. Can you please pop up? Thank you. Not bad. There's a spirit heart. Oh, not taking it. I hate being as slow as that item makes you, and I know it's an HP upgrade, but I can't handle it. I think we'll take more damage from being slower than that is going to offer us in defense. So, I think the trade-off is okay there. And we'll move on to the next floor. 13 minutes, four floors to go. Is not awful. It's not great. It's not awful. Book of Necronomicon is better than the scissors, which is saying something about the, the scissors there. Because Book of uh, Necronom the Necronomicon, the Book of Necronomicon, the Necronomicon itself is not great. Uh, cards are the Emperor and the Hanged Man. So we're going to take Empress and Emperor. We can use the Emperor card if we are getting worried about our time on the, uh, no, on like maybe the, uh, the chest or something. Not the chest, the... Uh, the womb two or one of the womb womb fights. Basically, it's gonna be a get through this floor free card if we feel like we're in a hurry, which could very likely happen considering uh, we've kind of been get cutting it very close. At least on the last few hush viable runs we've been on. Um. 
Yeah. If we can get a different teleport card and maybe teleport out of boss rush, that would be sweet too. But right now, before we've even we've even made it like to the next floor with enough time, I'm not gonna be thinking too much about boss rush. Mom's knife. I think we have to. As much as I love the tears, I, I think I've given up Mom's Knife enough times and been, you know, screwed by it to know that it's kind of something that I should be taking. Even though I'm like, I really like the tear effects for this item. I'm sorry rubber cement doesn't work, but it'll be good I do. Fate's Reward? You know, Fate's Reward will still have a bouncing shot, so that's cool. You know? Don't get all of our apples and oranges, but we get some of them. Rainbow Worm's cool, but I like uh, I like the, the lock pick a little bit too much. It's also gonna make it if we do make it to the hush. You know, we get those four chests for free, so how cool? How awesome is that? All right. Yeah, this is gonna speed things up a lot. Uh. Seven cents for five bombs is good, but I'm gonna remain with Necronomicon for now. Just for room clear, basically. Damage is not bad. I don't know... I know Fate's Reward, like, does damage scaling off your damage. He's kind of like a worse Incubus. Um, but I don't know if that counts with Mom's Knife if he doesn't physically have Mom's Knife. No clue. Okay. Again, we're saving this for like a more difficult room. Run Necropolis 1. I'm not too scared about us making Hush. I'm a little bit more. Like, if we wanted to do Boss Rush, we could do. We could use the Emperor card next floor and guarantee Boss Rush. But I don't think I'm that invested in boss rush. Invested enough in boss rush to care. Um, we will open this because we can go like that and perhaps get something good. Number of bombs isn't terrible, but it's not what I wanted. That sucks. Um, and we'll go on here. Mask of Infamy. We can die real fast. Okay. Single target foes. We're gonna take the brunt of the damage that we have here. We turned into mom, so we have we got double knives here. So how cool. Lump of coal is pretty good. I would have been okay with Krampus' head, but we got lump of coal anyway. Bomb transformation means we're gonna have, like, you know, we have another, basically just another knife behind us. Not a huge difference. I'm a little upset that we went through the entirety of the last floor before we actually got the things that we wanted to get, but it is what it is. Okay, red chest. You know, we're gonna go for it. I don't know what this horseshoe does. I only went through here because the enemies we're going to be fighting are going to be simple, simple enough for us to kill very, very quickly. Like, that didn't go much faster or much slower than it would have taken us to do a normal room. You think you're funny, huh? We don't have a key. Right. Cool. Two keys. Exactly what we were looking for. Satanic Bible, I was asking for it. It's here. We're going to take it. The HP regen in combination with everything else that we have. Hugely important. Okay. They're out. Lots of keys. Or at least a key. Two keys. Cool. I'm gonna blow this up. Might get something cool out of it. Like a... Uh... Oh, no. This just goes down to the next floor. Okay. Don't need that. Our item, oh, our item room, I was like, what did our item room contain? It contained the Satanic Bible. I'm smart, I promise. All right. Gurgling. Can the shop on the blue womb contain greed? There were spikes there. I was not paying attention. Um. My brain says yes. But I don't know if that's true. hate this room. Alright. I don't think we're gonna make boss rush, and I'm okay with that. If we don't make boss rush, we don't make boss rush. 
Nothing too terribly disappointing about that. We will spend a spirit heart to go in here. In case it dropped something cool and it didn't. Oh, this, that's pretty nice, though. Judgment. Hero font. Hero font's great. Empress. Over judgment. We're not going to be able to kill mom in, you know, however many seconds. So, we're fine. Again, not at all worried. Ten minutes to beat the next two floors with the Emperor card. We're good. Read. Rest in peace. Alright. I think we're fine. Doing okay time. I'm a little worried we're not going to make it to... No. We, ten minutes to make it through the next, like two floors with one with Emperor card is basically like 10 minutes to beat like the next boss or the next boss after this boss and so especially with mob snipe I'm not too worried about it you know we're like 30 seconds late on boss rush she's dead get that Polaroid is ours we're on to the next floor so you just have to make it through this floor within like the next 10 minutes and we're fine. Curse of the Maze. The big thing is even though it's Curse of the Maze- Oh, Yara Emperor, dog. So when we get down to the chest, which I intend to, I'm gonna be doing good stuff. Also, if we do get like a, like a, what's it called? A blank card on the Hush Room? I don't think we will. But if we do, um, I will straight up take that. Because, you know, blank card Yara Rune is too much fun to pass up. I don't know what's in these chests, if anything good. Well, I got hit by a bullet anyway, so we had to check. They just feel like regular chests, but they, like, hurt. <laughs> like gray chests. Which I don't think is a good enough payout. I find it interesting that they do have chests, essentially chests that take things other than keys, but um, I don't know, they just don't seem good enough for the most part to be worth doing, taking. Cool. Gotta get rid of these hosts. Host mounds? I don't know what we're calling them. I don't know what the Isaac community is calling those things. No clue. I should spend some time on the subreddit. I haven't done that at all. But, it is what it is. Emperor Yera. Emperor Yera. So we're certainly going to Emperor the next floor. Just to be careful. Lovers. Moon. Don't care too much about either of those things. Um. I would really like to find... Yeah, I was like, can we find the boss soon, though? That would be awesome. Wish granted. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're fine. No problem. Alright. Triacnid. You can suck it. I feel like we've gotten Magic Scab already on this run, but maybe we got it on the last one. Gimpy's awesome. We'll use Emperor card as soon as we get down here to get down to the, the mom fight. And we'll have no qualms about... Beating mom's heart. Or it lives. Always do that. No problem. No problem. Dead. Cool. Blue womb. Let's do this, Kane. Let's do this. I don't have hush on Kane, do I? <laughs> Just had to make sure. Ugh. Tammy's head. Bob's brain. Huh. I don't think the Duplo tier does anything for us. You could be helpful. You could be helpful. Tammy's head, mom's knife does not seem all that helpful. Judgment. Moon. Stars. Can we moon card in here? Okay, just takes us out here. K 
Can we judgment card, I guess, in here? Well, I guess we'll donate as much money as we can. So we might as well. Before we leave anything behind. Keep donating. Keep it going. Got a sweet amount of money. Cool. Then we'll judgment card. Map. Pretty good. Um, stars card. Nickel. So I think we have to take... Well, this is interesting, because as good as he is, we don't have very much health. So I think I'm actually going to take Infestation, because our flies are going to do obscene amounts of damage. And... I guess... Sticky shots. And, like, the creep. Because I don't think the Duplo affects the knife at all. The chance to slow him down, though, and make those shots be less effective seems pretty solid to me. And I, I don't know exactly how Charged Baby works, but the fact that we just got a charge there, despite not actually doing anything, kind of leads me to believe that it could be very useful in the upcoming floors here. Okay, you're fine. Let's get some damage in. Not too scared. As of yet, but this is not definitely not the hardest part of this fight. The hardest part of this fight comes far later, so. It's when he's doing the continuum tier shots. Oh. Jeez. Okay, we got a penny there, because we got P bank going on for us. Oh, okay, this is the this is the difficult part. Thank you. Oh. Okay. We're doing all right. That could, you know, it could mean literally nothing. Oh, jeez. Tears were doing some weird shit. A little worried. Not too worried, but a little worried. I don't know what's occasionally freezing. Is that Fate's Reward? Occasionally freezes the room? Okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, God. Just die, Hush. Thank you. Okay, we killed the Hush. We did it. We got the D12. It's appeared in the basement. I feel like I've had the D12, though. D12 is the one that rerolls rocks, right? Hmm. I feel like I've been scammed. But whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> we can't do anything about it. Uh, okay. What is doing that? It has to be, like, Fate's Reward or something, right? Can't be charged, baby. Okay, we're teleporting the shit out of this room. I'm not I'm not hanging out there. Okay. Yeah, our rune's gonna be for the, the cathedral. Or not the cathedral, the chest. Doing, like, good damage, so. That's, like, the most important part. The rest of this game should be fairly simple. Like, we beat the, the boss, the hard boss here, so. Ow. Get our black heart back. Make girds. And he gets hard countered by our goop. And Isaac. Sweet. Should be no issues here. Yeah, the rest of the game should be no problem. Let's see what kind of crazy stuff we can get on the chest, though. Okay. Okay, killed it. Alright, on to the next floor. Um, what do we want? I don't know, more damage? 
some way to make my knife stronger than it already is. Yeah, it. I know we can't get everything here, but oh, they're fucking. We can't get everything here because we have a uh, milk, a little chubby. Oh god, infestation two, chemical peel, stem cells. Big fan. Man, we got like an ass load of uh, familiars here. Like a lot of familiars. I did not expect that. I'm okay with it, I just didn't expect it. So many bombs. Oh, uh, I guess if we do get chest drops, we'll get two, so that's pretty sweet. We just kind of have to accept whatever we do get. Okay. What we got in here? Ultra Greed? Rest in peace, Sud. Sud? A little bit of soap? Oh, okay. A little horn. You have to try harder than that, man. Mega fatty. Oh, damn. They're hurting, man. Let's see it. Oh, I killed him as soon as he spawned in. Boy, does that feel good. Well, we got free money, I guess. Don't pick up my money. Yeah, that's what we're looking for, those luck ups. Give us a chance to, uh, perchance pick up more chests. If we do get any more. Not hugely and entirely likely, but if we do, all the better. Whew, okay. Wrecked. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Double chest drops. A cursed eye. Okay, we're not going to do anything with that. Toxic onion. Again, this run would be really cool if we could see the tears, but Mom's Knife's in the way. I both love and hate Mom's Knife for this exact reason. Because who knows how absurd this run and these tears could look right now, if only we could see them. Thank you, Wrath, for blowing yourself up. Alright. Right, man. Oh, our, teeth, our knife is just cutting through these guys like hot butter. Like our knife is made out of hot butter. That's the expression, right? That's what it means. Get out of here. What do we got? What do we have here? How to jump. My little unicorn. My little unicorn is like an obvious one. First off. Oh, my little unicorn, not not unicorn stuff. Never mind, not an obvious one. I mean, it allows us to instantly kill whatever we want, like one room, but it's got a six room recharge, so I don't care enough. So I'm pretty much instantly killing everything anyway. Fates rewards showing us our tier a little bit, but oh, it's rotten head. Oh, didn't even see you there. Got Bob's curse, X-ray vision. We Bob? No, we're not Bob. I don't know why enemies are just sometimes like starting off frozen. Oh. Not good damage. Hey, Brownie. Rest in peace. Before I even had a chance to drop like a single uh, corn corn dip. It's done. Rest in peace. We're doing some fucking crazy damage right now, by the way. If you didn't know, the damage we're doing right now is pretty crazy. It, like, one-hit kills everything in the room. Uh, nothing. Alright. That's fine. Rest in peace. Oh. Oh. Bumbo. Bumbo want coin? He's just a bum. He's like a beggar. But he's a head. I don't I don't fully understand, but I'll accept it. Because there's nothing I can do except for accept it. Oh, you guys are... Rip, rest in peace. Got Yera and Hagalaz. Yera. Degaz. 
Picano and Zeus. Zeus. We can see the whole floor. So we have double Yera. We can get one more chest drop. Turn that into a quad chest chest drop. Nope. Seems that is off the table. Well, we'll Yera it. Then we'll Yera it a second time, and we'll just get like massive amounts of health. Cool. We did it. Easy peasy. Sorry this uh, episode was a little long. That's what happens when you die on your first run. But, um... Uh, I accept my fate at this point. You can do it. And he's dead. <laughs> it was just me aimlessly walking around. Alright, well I guess that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you for watching, I do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like or a subscribe, or just commenting in the sections below, and I hope to see you all on the next episode.